Brian Bill is now online. Hey guys and girls, I recently got a comment requesting to know how to make a chat based website. So then I replied with servers and everything. And obviously, I knew nothing about servers, but it can't be looking dumb to the fans. So I decided to do a little bit of research. I went on PHP My Admin. Not to lie, it looks a bit intimidating. But then I stumbled across socket.io. And it looks pretty simple, so I was like, I'll give it a shot. And that's where I am now. So we're gonna be using socket.io to make this chat thingy. The first thing you want to do is to download Node.js. If you don't know what that is, I don't know either. So let's just go ahead and download it. All right, once you have that down, you just want to walk through the basic setups and make sure to take the additional stuff. You might need it. Alrighty, so now we're finished with the download, we're gonna tweak our settings a little bit, so we're gonna go over to control panel. Once here, you wanna go over to programs, turn windows features on or off, and here we're gonna enable a couple things. What we're gonna enable is IIS, which is just internet information system, and then we're gonna enable everything inside of it. All right, once that is done, we can get started on command prompt. Don't worry, we're gonna be coding here. It's gonna be HTML, JavaScript, as I promised. We just need to get a few things done. All right, assuming you have node.js and everything, you wanna type npm and then initialize, which is this I-N-I-T. This is just gonna initialize everything we need. Now we need to call it something. We could just call it meme chat. Oh, meme chat, that's pretty good. All right, now you just wanna skip everything till the end. Don't worry if yours doesn't look quite like mine. It's gonna work out in the end though. So we just created a JSON file using command prompt. Now we have to find it. Watch how I do it carefully because you wanna find it, right? All right, so here it is. All we need to do is to edit it using notepad. Down in the description below, you find the script and all you have to do is to copy an adjacent file onto your notepad. Alright, so once you have this down, there are a couple things you need to take note of. In line 5, well, my line 5, it says main and then it references a JavaScript script. So you want to take note of the name. You can change it if you want to, but just remember that you're going to need that when you create your JavaScript file. Along with this, we're going to go ahead and install npm. Follow me. All right, once that is done, we probably will not need CMD. That's a lie. Save your JSON file and we're done. All right, go back to the Google Docs. All we have to do is to copy the JavaScript part of it and paste it onto a notepad. And don't forget, when you save it, you wanna save it as the same thing that's in your package, the JSON. All right, we'll go over the script in a hot minute, but before then, we wanna save it right. You wanna save it in the same spot your package file is, so follow me. That is done, let's move on to HTML. And of course, we're gonna save it in the same spot our JavaScript is in. Alright, let me see if I can explain this whole JavaScript biz. Alright, the first four lines are the things we're gonna need when we're making our server. Which is var express, var app, var server, and lastly, socket.io, which is just IO. So down here we have two arrays, which is just memers and meme connections. So the memers are the users, and the meme connections are just meme connections. 
So down here we have a port listener which is going to be useful when we're making a local host. So this pretty much allows the server to play at a certain port which we've assigned for which we've assigned to 2019. Doesn't really matter, you just have to remember it later on. And down here we have a request and response which is just a server thingy. This is important if you actually type this up. Make sure the two underscores instead of one before the DR name. And now we have our HTML link. Make sure to change from index to whatever you called your HTML file. Perfect. Down here is just socket.io, just working with connections and stuff. I'd love to explain it a little bit more, but that's a video for another day. Then we have our disconnect, which is also like connect, but disconnecting. By the way, if you found any problems with this, just let me know down in the comments below and I would love to help you. And for the most important part, we send the memes, which is just code word for we send our message which is pretty cool. And if you thought about changing send me message to send message, make sure you do it over in the HTML file. Same goes for this new me message. All right, that's it for JavaScript. Now let's go on to HTML. First, we got our title, which is just meme chat. Then we have script sources, which is really important. By the way, there's a bit of jQuery, which is just like JavaScript, but with a few dollar signs here and there. And we have some opening divs, closing divs, we have a lot of divs which is really important because it just makes the thing look a lot better. And also if you're gonna change any of the div IDs make sure you change them both in the jQuery code and also in the CSS. And we have a nice button which sends our main message. All right, let's go on our script. First section is literally just setting up variables and getting our div IDs. Second one is about sending our message using the same socket. I remember when I told you that if we were gonna change send me message, make sure to do it in HTML. This is where you would do that. But who would wanna change send me message, man? That'd be cruel. Same applies for new me message. This if statement right here makes sure that we have at least one character in our info box unless you can't send it because then you just be sending blank messages. And then we just append every single text. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I promise, I won't do it again. To understand the bottom part, you're gonna have to see the HTML page in action, then I'll explain it. Then you just have some CSS code, and there's no need to explain that. Alright, and that pretty much wraps it up, so let's run this. First things first, you want to open up command prompt. We're going to start off extra by changing the background color. We're just going to go through the index, and I think light aqua sounds pretty cool. Then you want to type in node, and whatever you call your server, as for me, I called mine meme server.js, but we're not going to add JS, we're just going to call it meme server. And we should see a console.log statement which says meme server is up. Let's minimize command prompt and if we go back to our server script, we can remember our port. And our port was 2019 which is totally changeable so we're gonna remember that number. So if we go in on Google and type in localhost 100, it's not gonna work because that's not a port. But if we change it up to 2019, we should see our meme server up. Don't forget the colon in between localhost and a number. So here we got our basic divs with our titles and everything. It looks pretty nice. So let's test it out. All right, you guys remember the show log thing I was talking about? So if someone was to spam, and you know how it keeps track and it's always translating to the bottom of the text? So 
you, you notice you can't scroll up, right? But if you were to hit show all, it lets you scroll up and when you type again, it locks it back in place, which is pretty neat. I added the feature myself. A bit of weird flex, but okay. I hit the sidebars, which makes it look even cooler. So you might be like, whoa, that's pretty cool and all, but it's only lame how you can only do it on the same computer. Well, if you had friends, which you don't, if you had friends, you can talk to them. All you have to do is to type in HTTP and then put some semicolons and some slashes and then you want to type in your IP address and then the port, which is this 2019. And I'm showing you how to get your IP address right here. By the way, if you're going to try and DDoS me with my IP address, I actually log all connections with it and I'll let the popos know. As you can see, here I am in real life with two different computers and talking to myself, which is kind of weird. But you can see it works. And I actually updated this after I made this video. So the update script will be in the Google Docs. And that's how to do it, guys. That's how to make a chat server. And until next time, Rainbow out.